guys how's it going <laughs> thank fong you're welcome senti hello everyone i hope you're having a good night so far how are y'all doing happy friday <laughs> happy frog day happy friday happy frog day <laughs> happy frog day also let me say hi to you guys who are coming in hey opalite hey senti hey cabal hey bebop how are y'all doing tonight? So let me turn up this music. I'm listening to Ina Bakumori, but it's lo-fi. <laughs> so this, thank you for the headpet. It's Inu Bakumori music, but lo-fi remixed. And this first track slaps. Well, 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 well. Thank you for the headpet, Cabal. Thank you. Today has been a good day. I've had I've been having a really good day today. Link me music, please. Yeah, I'll put it in the media channel in the Discord. Yeah, Inubakumori. I saw. I was looking up lo-fi stuff, and then I saw this recommended to me, and I was like, I am very intrigued. <laughs> All right, it's in the media channel now. the 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 art is really good too. Like it. Um, it like replicates the art in Inu Bakumori's videos pretty well. No problem. Yeah, today's been a good day so far. I'm in a very good mood. Like all of a sudden, I'm in a very good mood. Maybe it's because I'm streaming. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm streaming. <laughs> Maybe I enjoy streaming. Hmm, I wonder. Uwu, very big uwu moment. Yeah, very big uwu moment. <laughs> But, uh, if you guys didn't know, I was, uh, in the Discord doing a little, a little karaoke with Opalite. We were singing some Vocaloid songs. And Opalite didn't post that they were streaming, but I caught them. I caught them in the act of streaming. <laughs> I was like, hey, Opalites, what's going on here? And they're like, ah! But, um... <laughs> We sang some Vocaloid songs. That was very fun. Imagine enjoying streaming. Oh my gosh. It's almost like I've been streaming almost every week for like a year and a half. It's almost like I enjoy doing it. It's like, it's almost like I enjoy... I've been doing it every week because I enjoy it. <laughs> Opalite Twitch stream when? Opalite Twitch stream when? I would like to listen to an Opalite uh, karaoke stream on Twitch without the, the Discord lag, because Discord Discord lag is for real. <laughs> Opalite... Opalite is a good singer. In my opinion. In my frange e opinion. 1010 would do it again, honestly, will be in your DMs, frange? Yes, I would be down to do it again. I've been wanting to do like Discord karaoke for a while, but wasn't I never really got the the frange balls to start it. Hey Ski! Also happy you get to finally play Yuke. Oh Senti, so you were the one who recommended Yuke. I was trying to figure out who recommended Yuke to me. Cause we actually started playing Yuke last stream last week. And I was like, there's this person who really liked Yuke, and they're like, you should play Yuke. And, and so I played it. And I was like, it's you! Hey, Ski! Oh, you played it yourself? It's so good? Oh, you're teasing me! You're teasing me. So you were able to download it? You were able to download the... Did you play the Japanese or the English version? Talking about streaming, I just had my first stream last Sunday. Oh! I'm glad that you had fun with it. It's all right. First streams are always scuffed. You can always improve the quality later um, if you have the resources for it. But I'm glad that you had fun with streaming. You got started with it. Japanese, ooh, yes. The, the taboo version. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's you, Senti. I'm glad that you're here then. I'm glad that you're here to watch us play Yuke. Call Rack support for any streaming help? Yeah, Bebop is very helpful. He's very helpful when it comes to tech tech help. 
Um, he's helped me a number, a number of times, a number of times. <laughs> but um, I guess since we have since we have Sandy here, or not even just because of that, I kind of want to start the game soon. Um, let's start the game. We can always chat like we usually do when we play Yumi Nikki fan games. Let me get it started up. One numble. One numble time. Oh yeah, I should probably get a guide for Yuke up to Yuke. Alright, we got it up. God, this playlist is so good. Thank you to whoever remixed this music. Alright. There it is. Is it just me or does it look off center? Hmm. Why does it look off center? Did I accidentally move it? How the fuck did I move it? I never touched this. It's locked. All right, OBS. You be doing this to me? It's schmooved. Okay, let's go outside because that has a full screen. Okay. For some reason it got bigger. Like the entire thing got bigger. The screen capture. <laughs> OBS just does this to me sometimes. OBS moment, right? All right, it's good now. That looks good. How games run and other stuff works, so soon this weekend you'll test other games. Nice! And when you get a real PC, that's hype. I was, uh... I was thinking of, of getting a new PC soon as well. I'll be, uh... Bebop already knows, because I asked him for advice on it. And I was like, what should I do? What, what are good parts? And stuff like that. Alright. Always leave on the TV. Also, let me know if the sound is okay, um... If it's too loud. It looks like it might be a little bit too loud. But if it starts being overpowering, let me know. Thank you to Yume Nikki fan game developers who put the speed up effect in the first slot. Thank you. It farted and moved? <laughs> Yeah, that is that is that makes sense. The farts that you guys did made it move. I was streaming last time I did. I have the uncanny ADHD ability of never shutting up. ADHD does help if you're a streamer. It does help make you more uh, entertaining, I would say. But also it doesn't help because sometimes you have to be focused and organized. Depending on what kind of stream you want. Also, I am having a drink right now. It is... I'm trying out this new drink. It looked really like it would be tasty. It's called a Salty Wind Ghost Mixed Berry. With... Oh, this isn't the drink that I thought it was. Oh, it has blueberry in it. This is the drink I thought it was. I wanted to see what blueberry would taste like. ADHD Supremacy. <laughs> Yeah. ADHD Supremacy will take over all of the, the streamer positions. Oh, I remember we were in here. We were in here before. The music in this area sounded like it would bang itself into my head. They were saying hi to us. It started raining, it's like the little drops, and it sounds so comfy. Yeah, rain really does sound comfy, right? It was raining for a few days this week, this past week. And I kind of liked hearing the rain start and stop outside. <laughs> Doing a little honk. It reminds me, I was playing Yume Nikki, or 
I was with Cabal yesterday as he was playing Yume Nikki, and he kept ringing the bell on the- Ah! Oh! Wait, I didn't know there was an effect in here. How did we not find that last time? But, uh, he kept ringing the bell on Maratsuki's, uh, also frog, <laughs> on Maratsuki's bike. And it was just, like, very entertaining. I like honking the horn here, too. Ninja, why? Why'd you give away our secret? It's a frog. Let's see, what does the ninja effect do? So now chasers can't see me. Nice. So that is one way of making a chaser not see you. I don't think anything... I don't think we have any other effects that can make us avoid or stop chasers. So that would... That will be helpful. It's a frog. If only we could be a frog when we turn into it. It didn't turn us into a frog. That's a bit di disappointing. Oh my god. The chasers in this game are so weird. IDK what they are. I don't know either. Like, there are a lot of strange creatures in Nidei's dream world. It reminds me of... Oh, this is this is the way back. Let's try going to this one. Froggy Nikki. There's probably a Froggy Nikki. Oh, I remember this. I remember this world. Do you need a hand because of the statue? You get it? You get it? You're delayed by a bit? Um, about how long do you think it is delayed? Because usually five to ten seconds is normal, but if it's more than that, you can try refreshing your page, and that should reset your delay. I found. If there's a bunny Nikki, then there has to be a froggy Nikki. 211? Oh, okay. Um. Your internet is sticky? Uh, sticky? <laughs> stinky? I would still, um, maybe try. What the fuck? I would still try to refresh the page and see if that helps. Because usually Twitch is weird. Like, if it buffers, it puts you on a lag. So if you were buffering earlier, that's probably why. Um, and then refreshing it resets that buffering lag. Feels like a love child of original Nikki and Dot Flow. It does. It has like the creepiness of Dot Flow, but also some of the surrealness of the original Nikki. With a younger protagonist. But how do we know that she's younger? What the fuck? I didn't see this before. <laughs> It was Yume Nikki was more like Silent Hill and Dot Flow. What, what the? Oh, that's what this. That's that's what this was. That noise was. Afro. I have an afro. Oh. <sighs> I feel very weird about this effect. Mostly just the shift. <laughs> I feel okay. Okay. Do y'all get why I feel weird about that? Am I the only one? Oh yeah, I think she looks cute with an afro. It's just the the her being black. Or becoming black. Yeah, her name's Nide. Oh well, it's a dream. I remember there was an open uh, manhole. I'm trying to find that. <laughs> maybe, maybe she's just turning Kyaru. 
Yeah, but Kyaru girls don't usually have afros. They usually have like the the bleached hair. How come I was able to find that manhole before, but not now? Come on, Yuke Dev. It's almost like you're uh, you're Japanese and <laughs> it's almost like you're Japanese and don't know about these things. Did I find it before? Okay, I keep passing by that hand, so... Okay, that's the door. You know, I was thinking, one day I want to play the 3D Yume Nikki on stream. The Yume Nikki Dream Diary game. The one that I dislike very much. This one's hard to find for real, right? I found it so easily last time. Don't do it, everything will collapse if you play it. <laughs> Maybe it's a dream thing. Maybe I can only find it per dream. Like, um... It's like a random chance per dream that if you can go in there. I thought you meant the other 3D one. Well, we could play that one too. The actual good 3D one. <laughs> the interesting 3D one. But I just have the urge to like replay it for some reason. It's not even that... It's like... It's interesting to play. Is there every time? It's just hard to find. Oh my god. And we're back here again! What the fuck? I need to crack my knuckles. I'm stretching my hand. I don't know why it's hurting all of a sudden. Well, I can think of a few reasons why, but... Yeah, I just- I felt like playing the Yume Nikki Dream Diary game. It wouldn't be that long to play. I had no blood, I forgot. Oh, I mean, the, the manholes don't really have a lot of blood. Just find a vacant open manhole? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm trying to find the vacant open manhole. That's just not showing up. I'm scanning the area over and over. Just find the thing. Find the thing that you're trying to find. This one looks like it has a frowny face on it. That one's new. That looks kind of new. Okay, I'm out of here. Leg. We haven't been in here yet. Oh! Hello, little guy! Where do you think my Mirai Nikki falls in the 
Yume Nikki timeline. It falls under uh, Madotsuki's high school life. Madotsuki's high school life. Because Madotsuki is obviously in her 20s. Yeah, this is comfy. You can get the cloud effect here? Nice. Also, just for future reference, I I usually take guidance, but um, not at the moment. When I first start playing a Yume Nikki fan game, I usually just wander around and see what I run into. But after like two or three streams, I usually ask people for guidance or look up guides because I start wanting to just straight up collect the effects. It's fine, Senti. I didn't put like any tags of like no backseating or anything, so. You didn't have to know, or you didn't know. Oh, is this a zombie? I like this sprite. You can get the rat, of rat effect here. No, don't bonk yourself. Only I can be bonked. Is this like a world that has like mushroom spores or some kind of like bacterial fungus? There are mutants. Hey, Draken! <laughs> Don't bonk me. I know I said that I'm I'm the one who gets bonked, but still. <laughs> I like the colorful um the colorful flowers. Yeah, it gives, gives Senti a head pet instead of a bonk. Oh? You can't get to her. Hmm. I wonder if she's like, their theories like, being formed in my head right now. I wonder if she's like the last remaining non-mutant or something and she's just kind of like thinking, oh god, I'm gonna transform into a mutant soon. I'm fucked. She's kind of sad. The last non-X-Men. <laughs> Oh god, we're all X-Men now. That's the Yuk lore. That's the same as the Yume Nikki lore? Well, that is that is the same as one Yume Nikki uh, interpretation, which was that one video that I showed you guys a long time ago. Uh, that reminds me of that, yeah. Like, there's some kind of, like, fungus or virus turning everyone into mutants. Maybe that's why there are so many weird looking creatures in Yuke Street. Not Yuke Streams, in New Day's Dreams. This looks like a teacher. Sag. Yeah. Soon, I will be at a new- Oh, Soon, I will be at a uh, new desk, hopefully. If they actually ship the other part of my desk. And you guys will hear less click-clack, hopefully, because of where I'll be putting my mic on my desk. Looks like a face. But uh, I ordered a new desk because of... I wanted a new one. Because all my desks that I was using at my old place were small or made for children. 
<laughs> desk moment, yeah. Because I was using, like, this desk for the longest time that I had been using since I was, like, a kid. Obviously, I was outgrowing it. And I used this, like, one we had laying around. It was very tiny. Well, it was, it was tiny for what I needed to do with it. So since I moved, I was like, hmm, let's buy a new desk. It would be a nice opportunity to buy a new desk. And, uh... It got shipped in two parts. One of them arrived. The other one was supposed to arrive the same day. It still hasn't come. And the tracking says that it hasn't even been... Uh, FedEx hasn't even, like, gotten it. <laughs> even though it said that it was supposed to come yesterday. Weapon X the whole time? What's Weapon X? I've never heard of that. I also had that tiny desk for most of my life, though I bought a real wooden desktop from Ikea a year or so ago. Yeah, it, isn't that so much better? I mean, I haven't lived through it yet, but I'm living through it with Draken's desk right now, and I'm like, this is so much better. Hey, Kings! How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? FedEx eats ass? Either FedEx or Wayfair, which is where I got the desk. Either FedEx it just didn't scan it, or Wayfair just didn't give it to FedEx for a week. Because it was supposed to be shipped out last Friday. Oh, I was just talking about um, this thing that I ordered that was supposed to arrive yesterday, but still hasn't. You're hanging with friends soon. Nice. What are you gonna do? It sounds fun. X-Men line of comics where they lock up a bunch of mutants in camps because they spooky? Oh no. That's not good. Also, door. I feel like there's somebody's gonna scare me. Tiny? How'd she get under there? How do I get over this? There's like weird plants growing. Means the X-Men universe is connected to the Yume Nikki universe. Which then links Mirai, Nikki, and X-Men. We're getting somewhere! We're getting- we're making a theory! Get on the truck! Oh! How was I- how was I supposed to know that? There's no indication that you could get on the truck. Th but thank you, Ski. Smoke grass, sled fast, eat ass. On in an automatic stair thing. Oh, the escalator? I don't think I've ever seen that video. This seems like some kind of junkyard or something. Butterflies. Squunkyard. I love trash. <laughs> yes, where I belong. The junkyard. I'm sorry, but we're going now. We- whoa! Helmet! Can we get on this? I want to get crushed. Oh yeah, I do like the effect gets down too. Oh. This is a creepy area. There's a door behind the machine. Yes, I saw. I, w 
I, I would appreciate being able to find the things. Though, though you telling me about the truck helped. First try? Yeah, I explore everything. Well, maybe. Oh, it's an event of chance? This is a random event? Oh, I get, I couldn't get the event? Wait, what the fuck is happening? I, I've just been looking at chat. I wasn't paying attention to the growing number of body bags around me. <laughs> I want to get crushed. I'm very lucky. Oh no. Oh no. I knew that something was gonna come after me. That's why I was like trying to run away so fucking quick. <laughs> also, I think that's 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 a scream for the scream counter. Maybe was that a scream? Can I interact with anything here? Your theory is that small near day. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I can... Bye-bye, world. <laughs> we have to train an AI using deep learning to recognize the exact pitch and length of French vocalizations that will count as a scream. <laughs> yes, that'll definitely help us with incrementing the screen counter. <laughs> A lot of doctor stuff themes in the game. Uh, technology and doctor stuff. Yeah. I like body horror too. I'll see. All right, I think we got... Oh, I love how my computer absolutely shits itself while doing that. I won't say any more. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing what this game has in store for me. Yeah, I don't, I don't generally like spoilers. But... Let's see. How many buffers are there? One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, and we have nine. We're making good progress, but also we we want to see all the events too. Not all of them, but just as much as we're willing to see. Let's see. Was there anywhere? Oh wait, not here. Not here. The water area. There was more to explore there, I think. Spoiler, there's a Chuck E. Cheese boss fight. I absolutely believe that with all of my being. I can't wait for the Chuck E. Cheese boss fight. Well, oh, you got another one. Now we have 10 buffers. Cloud? Wow! We can make it rain. We're on a little cloud. I also like how the, the walking sound effect changes when you're on the cloud. You're no longer in the water anymore. It's a tiny thing. 
FNAF, Freddy Fazbear appears at the secret 156, 1 out of 56 rare boss event. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese poggers. Dot wave file plays. Poggers. I want to see Freddy Fazbear too. I love watching all his. I love watching all his videos on Twitch. Yeah, it is cute. This area is very small. I hate not being able to make Chuck E. Cheese references nowadays without someone immediately going to, to FNAF. I just want to talk about my funny childhood rap, man. No, oh, it's fine, Senti. I don't think Bebop is actually mad at you. Y'all don't have Chuck E. Cheese in South America? I I definitely believe that, yeah. I don't believe Chuck E. Cheese is, is down there. <laughs> the pedal helicopter, yeah. Okay, let's go into these balloons again. I don't think... Okay, so now I'll ask for advice. Is there anything else in this area that I need to check? We got the cloud effect. I'm gonna start exploring more down this area. Yeah, you can impersonate the Chuck E. Cheese poggers. It's a very good impersonation, in my opinion. But, uh... Yeah, also, guys, y'all remember the SNES Mini that came out, like, a while ago? I just dug it up. I dug it up. So, I was... I was a cool... cool yo. Cool yo franch. And I ordered the Famicom, Super Famicom Mini, the Japanese version, mostly because the SNES... the English the SNES Mini was, like, constantly out of stock. So I got the Super Famicom Mini, and I was playing Earthbound on it because I hacked it. Because it's so fucking easy to hack. You just put more ROMs on it. And Earthbound is really good. I really wish that I, like, actually finished Earthbound. I keep restarting it over and over and over. But I never finish it. I remember I got pretty far into Mother 1. Play Mother 3, you can be monkey? I should play Mother 3. I should, um... I have a hacked 3DS, so I can play, ROM, like, GBA ROMs on it. Actually, I'll write that down to do, like, right after this, so I can put it on my 3DS. Because there's, like, an English a fan patch, right? Where do I write this? Where do I write this? I don't have my notebook on me anymore. Mother 3 on 3DS. Yeah, I'm sad that it never got localized either. Frunk. <laughs> Frunk G. I thought. So the thing that came to mind for that was Frumpkey. Frumpkey. I only know a little bit of, um, uh, of the Mother 3 story. All I know is that it's a lot of suffering. Lots and lots of suffering. <laughs> I have to remember how far I got in Mother 1 and where my progress is on my computer. Mother 3 is suffering the video game, oh. Not as much as Lisa, but yeah. Oh yeah, Lisa's whole thing is like... Lisa the Painful. Lisa... is the suffering game.
But Lisa also took... I, I, I believe it took a lot of inspiration from, like, Mother and Yume Nikki. And other games, other RPGs. I'm gonna see if there's anything else in here. So I do like, yeah, okay, we went there. I do like the music in this game, but I, I will say that music in this area is not my favorite uh, compared to the other tracks in this game, because the other tracks in this game are really good. like a unfinished bag of chips in here like just laying on the ground would you eat it yes thank you I'm glad I have a comrade <laughs> I would eat the bag of dedos of dedos and Choritos. Hmm, I'm be beginning to believe that there's nothing else in here. If you guys are lucky enough, you might, um... You might be able to see me looking through the files of this game to see what exactly is in each area. <laughs> If there aren't, uh, maps online. Let me see. So I, I want to see how many maps are in this game. Like, see how big this game really is. But I guess I could see it in the folder, actually. There's 173 maps. That's not too bad. Not too many either. You made Tuki has so many. Oh, there's another one here. What's this? We just found something new. There's a tear in there, but I don't want to go in there. What the f- Why is- it looks like there's blood coming out of it. Oh. <laughs> if you open the maps folder, it's just a high-res PNG of Grimace. I would be so happy. I would be like, good one, nuke dev. Good one. There's a- oh, there are body bags now. <laughs> There's dead people in here. Yeah, it's burnt bodies. Oh, nice little vending machine. Ah, yes, a nice cold drink. This wonderful view. Wait, what? Is that me? Mmm, crispy. I think that might be me. In the trash. Where I belong. But also dead. Not really. 
what I want. Is there anything else on the other side? My eyes kind of blur over uh, whenever I see like really busy maps like this, so I may be missing stuff. Okay, nothing here. I don't think there's anything up here. Well, we sure did find something. Peace, I'm out. We already went here, okay. I forgot that's not supposed to rain. We made it rain. <laughs> I think? It's not supposed to rain in here, right? Just doing a scan. I'm not sure if there's anything else in here. normally in here if there isn't an event okay so it's just this okay yeah I guess we, we got really lucky then what was what were the odds of getting that event again I forget what you guys said Usually, it's a two-scale pixel remake of Arby's. Man, that reminds me of the video that we watched on Wednesday, where a person took an Arby's... burger? What, what, what was the burger of? It was like the special burger, an Arby's burger, and they ate a sausage out of it. Now I want to uh, watch more of those sausage videos. Just take this and make a sausage out of it. A Wagyu burger, yeah. That looked really sad to be a Wagyu burger. I wonder if you can take Doritos and make it into a sausage. <laughs> Nah, that's impossible, right? If you add water, you can? Oh yeah, if you make it mushy. That's true. I want to eat a Dorito sausage. I don't think there's any way through here. It's like making a prison burrito? What's a prison burrito? Never heard of that. The SNL episode Taco Town? No, what is that? I don't watch a whole lot of SNL. I watch whatever people show me.
I'll see if I can find a picture video of a prison burrito for the Discord. Yes, please! Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, no, Ski! Yeah, you can't post links. You have to ask for permission. Wonder if you can take Doritos and make it into a sausage. I want a Dorito sausage. Thank you for the quote, Opalite. Yeah, you need a you need a um ask for permission before you post the link. Except for very specific people. Um because they're in here like a whole lot. Yeah. Now you can do it. Wait, wait. Uh ski 915. Cabal's working on it. Yeah, now you can post it. Uh, it only works for 60 seconds after that command is run, though. <laughs> Thank you, Try. How's it going? All right, I'll put this video in my other tab. I won't watch it right now, but I'll watch it after stream. Ah! I thought I paused it. There it is. You're wondering what that did? <laughs> it's about the ultimate taco on earth. Boy, I want that taco. I like tacos. I like burritos. I like a lot of food, actually. Food is just really good. But how are you doing, Try? How's your Friday going? Yum. You know that feeling when you can feel your toe starting to like go through your sock like you can feel your sock just forming a hole slowly that sad feeling when you're about to lose a sock fresh cantaloupe it was good oh cantaloupe is good it's been forever since i've had it though okay we just looped over so it looks like there's not anything else in here let's wake up Making pulled pork so I can make little trash sandwiches with hash browns in them? Oh my god, that sounds so good. They're not trash sandwiches. I love pulled pork sandwiches. I love them so much. But what kind of hash browns? Are they kind of like the McDonald's hash browns in texture? Or are they like... Like the hash browns that you get from a breakfast place. Like the really stringy ones. Let's see what's in here. Crispy little round boys? Oh, it's so like tater tots. Okay. Oh yeah, we turned this place into the ne neon world. I think I've had pulled pork with Dr. Pepper in it. Um, because my friends made it. They're very... They, they, they really like cooking. So I think they might have tried that. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, they're pretty good. There's an effect here? Have I gotten it yet? Oh, there's probably like a neon-like effect here. I don't think I've gotten it yet. Makes it easy to shred. Okay, so it's like more tender and stuff. something was here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, my um speaking of a smoker, my roommates recently got a smoker. They're very happy about it. Hopefully I get to try their pulled pork with uh when they use a smoker sometime. That'll be very nice. I wonder what we found here last time. Oh? What is this pattern? Oh. I think I know what it is. I forget the name though. Thank you for the wellness pack! Hey Vera Nose, how's it going? Okay, so straight stretch. Drink water. face. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what that was. I'm like, oh, it's a happy face. The eyes just kind of meld together with the... What's a door? The eyes just kind of meld together with the mouth. Oh, this is where we were before. Well, if it's there's an effect in here, I'll keep looking. What the f- <laughs> Get out of my way, bitches! When will you add the redeem to drink hot dog water? Uh, uh, whenever you get around to redeeming the auto auto stream, then I'll, that's when I'll add the redeem. Roger that. <laughs> Find a light bulb? Is that uh, where the effect is? 16% of the way there? Oh god, that's too high of a number. There's another door here. Oh! Oh, I think I know what he's saying. He's saying Moody and Dame. That's a speed run to use the head pat redeem? Wait, what's the speed run to use the ha ha head pat redeem? There's so many things on the screen. I don't know how I'm gonna find a light bulb. If it's just walking around. Oh, 
Using hot dog water redeem is instant head pat redeem. It goes together like the fart in sexy sex. <laughs> that does make sense, because I would be like so disgusted with the hot dog water. And you guys will be like, oh, head pat! Head pat doodle, it's okay. Where the fuck is that effect? Welcome back! I just missed it! Where's the fucking light bulb? Oh, bacon sandwich! That sounds delicious. Does it have any sauce on it? Oh wait, Ski, where was it? Mayo bacon? Oh, mayo is a sauce. I love mayo. That, that's mostly what I was asking for. I was like, I really like putting mayo on sandwiches. It was along with the under- Oh my god, they're really having the effect NPC just walking around with the other NPCs. I mean, I guess that's what you made Nikki did, but I'm still not happy with it because I, I can't tell the difference! Where the fuck are- Homemade mayo? Homemade mayo sounds good. Where the fuck? I don't even know what I'm looking for. Cupy mayo? It was pretty good when I had it in Japan. I love how you can like squeeze it out of that bottle. It makes a farting noise. God help me. You want to try doing that kind of mayo? I wonder what's in QP mayo. Fucking goodness. <laughs> it was about time. Good. Oh, this is the one we were already here. Dashi and rice vinegar are big differences from G Japanese mayo. Okay, that's why it tastes so good. It actually has different ingredients.
the round reflection, like on the neon, or just um, on her normal hair. It is very round. On both of them? You got hot cocoa with marshmallows? Hell yeah. It's been forever since I've had hot cocoa. It's, it hasn't been cold enough to have hot cocoa around here. Oh, I remember this place. So today is probably going to be the, the last stream that we spend exploring this game without, like, some kind of guide. After that, I'm probably going to just make a beeline for the effects and, like, some events and stuff. There's another event in the Yellow Lake area. I think I remember that area. What, um... What event is there? Because we were already there last time. Oh? Oh! We weren't here before. What the fuck is that? Tonight is comfy night? It is a comfy night. I'm feeling pretty comfy. Oh, first let me turn off my fan. It's getting cold in here. took a few pulls. The remote is is broken for this fan, so I have to like manually cycle it through all the 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 levels. My 3DS is charged. I can now play Ace Attorney. Oh hell yeah. I have a uh, Ace Attorney the Ace Attorney trilogy on my Switch. I'm comfy. I'm glad you're comfy. There's some weird stuff in the water. Foggers? Ice cream! Very nice. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles? Is that the one where, where they had a... Where it's like in the past, it's like set in the past. Max comfy now, I potentially could have started a fire earlier in the day? Oh no, I'm glad you're safe, Opalite. I'm glad you're safe. Safe and comfy now. The original DS Trio. And I have the complete collection? I think there should be the Trio on the 3DS. I think they might have compiled it into a trilogy in one game. There are some freaky looking animals. This is like some kind of park with play rides or something, a playground. On the investigations on the crossover. Oh yeah, the prof what was it? Professor Layton and Ace Attorney crossover. Hello there, little guy. Yeah, this is like a playground, but everything's flooded. Start fires, scream loud, shit your pants. This place is very maze-like. It's very confusing. Oh! We got lucky there. Melodica. Oh my god, this brings back memories. I used to have one of these. It was so fucking dirty though, I didn't want to put my mouth on it. 
Make the original DS game cartridges. They changed the writing in the re-releases? Really? How did they change it? Start scream, fire loud. Oh, they got mid? Just chillin'. Capcom makes some, uh, some bad choices. Yeah. Clussy. <sighs> oh, Clussy. You're on that case right now. <laughs> Everyone's so thirsty for her. It's funny. The clown big booba girl? The one with the balloon booba. Ace Attorney fans got so ups upset over an animation. What was what was it like her uh, her snapping her suspenders and then her boobs uh, were balloons? <laughs> Have we been here before? animation that started the clown thirst uproar. Oh, I didn't know that. A new grass animation? <laughs> of course. I'm going back. We were already in that area for a bit. Mm. So wait, she's an old character? I thought that she was like part of a new game or something. That's why there is the whole uproar. Oh, we are already here. Okay. No wonder I recognize that area. Yeah, it definitely is. Ooh, recycling bin. <laughs> I mean, she do be kind of fine, though. Edge work. Or wouldn't act like that. And like creator Larry responded with, I don't know, I've never even played this shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> people people make content that makes people go out of character all the time. Or makes fictional characters go out of character all the time. I don't think they made that animation to to <laughs> to be faithful to the character writing. Or around in a circle. Auga. Okay, this is making us go back. Let's explore a little bit more in this area and then head back to the previous one. AKA the maze. My headcanon is Edgeworth slash Phoenix. Play the first games. You cannot tell those motherfuckers ain't gay as fuck. <laughs> I have read some uh, Edgeworth slash Phoenix doujins in my days. 
in, in the days that I read those. They're good. He seems very arrow ace, honestly. Yeah, but shipping. How can you not ship characters? You gotta ship them. You gotta ship them all, even if they're, <laughs> even if they're obviously not that sexuality. It's canon that he's ace, really? Where did they say that? Also, yes, shipping, yeah. Harley from Chrono Cross awakened my, awakened my love for clown girls long ago. Wait, there was a clown girl in Chrono Cross? I played like a very tiny bit of that game a long time ago. Oh, it was hearsay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't expect Capcom to be explicit with any sexuality of their characters other than them being straight. <laughs> but, uh... This is oh, hey! This is Nira who has somnophobia. Any questions? This is Nira. This is Nire, who has somnophobia. Any questions? Hey, Wavy! Thank you for the sub! How's it going? There's a spider living in my room lights. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm glad you have a little spider friend. Alright, let's go back to the beginning and see if we can find any other stuff in the previous area. Did you forget about me? No. I stop by your stream sometimes. I just don't say anything. In Tool Destinies, there's a character that's so very heavily implied to be transgender. That's nice. I just wish there would be more explicit about it in Japanese media. I've already talked about this before, about how I, I'm very frustrated with, with, um, what was it? With, like, lesbians in, in Japanese anime? Japanese anime. <laughs> with lesbians in anime, but, like, cute girls doing cute things, but they're kind of gay, but they're never explicit with it, but they're really gay. Thank you, Cabal! Like... Yeah, not having to explicitly define LGBTQ peeps. Like, you don't have to be like, Hey, this is Bob, and he's gay, and he is a character in this anime. <laughs> you don't have to be like that, right? You don't have to, like, shoehorn them in, but like... When you have characters who are, like, so gay... But then they start talking about how good friends they are. <laughs> You're like, they're just really good friends. Nah, no. If they're actual teenagers, they'd be like, Do I like this person? But also, like, actual teenagers would be confused as fuck about it, especially in Japanese society. Can't have them being gay for our tacos won't be able to imagine dating them. Yes, exactly. But what about gay otakus? That's not who they're making this media for. That's not who they're making this media for. <laughs> the CEOs of the companies who make the anime are like, or at least the people who call the shots as to what is in the anime or what could be in the anime. They're not like, but what about the gay people? 
No, they're like, what about the straight men who are office workers who can spend money on this? A history moment when you find two guys sending each other thirst letters? They are very good friends. <laughs> yeah, they're just very good friends. As you can tell, I I'm kind of salty. I think we went down these steps last time. Wait, no, we didn't. We just saw them. They had socks on. It's not gay. You can't be gay if you wear socks. Sounds like a laundromat? It does, actually. I remember there is this this spiral that led to somewhere. I remember this. Okay, so the, I think that's where I, I want to go again. Laundromat type beat. <laughs> Laundromat beats to lo-fi too. To wash your clothes too. You know, next time I'm streaming, tomorrow I'm gonna wash my clothes. So you guys can hear the laundromat type beat in the background. Or at least my washing machine type beat. Blank type beat. What what blank type beats have you looked up? Oh, fuck. Am I going to the endless spiral of POV song so song lists? What's POV song lists? Is it like those POV videos but in song form? Oh, we're here again. POV, you're the side character. Yeah, yeah. POV, you're the side character. POV, I forgive you for cheating on me. POV, I'm just sleeping next to you and scrolling through TikTok. Monkey type beat. <laughs> I gotta look up monkey type beat. Yeah, they do get really specific. It's like, it's I guess the person just thinks of like whatever POV they've been thinking about and they're like, okay, let's reenact this POV. Oh, what is this? What is that? I see something. POV, you're pissing hard. God, I wish that was me. God, I wish I was pissing hard right now. Your favorite Blorbo? What's that? POV, you're quietly working on Gunpla while I play Tetra Tetris. Now that's a POV for Bebop, maybe. Oh no, we can't get out. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Tumblr speech. Borbo means little fave character of a fandom. Oh, okay. Huh. I, I, I used to spend a lot of time on Tumblr, but I didn't even hear that. Is it like new Tumblr speech? Newish, aka like the past four or five years. Oh, it's a swimming pool. School pool. I like music here. <laughs> it's new Tumblr. Okay. That's why. 
POV, you're at the store and someone is standing in front of the meat that you want to look at and you're waiting patiently but you're taking a long fucking time so you contemplate bashing their skull in with a nearby fire extinguisher. Oh, that POV speaks to me. I was feeling... <laughs> really? You feel... you? That one's real? It's telling me to go back. No. from your real life experience. <laughs> nice reflexes. All Benji from Florida. Won't leave this. What the fuck? What? Who's Benji from Florida? It's staring. Playlist! Yeah, that's why I got a little bit confused because song list is like, what songs? It's looping. I wonder how many times you can loop. It's not here anymore. Bengay! Oh, Bengay. Yeah, I've used that before. POV, you're trying to look non-threatening but failing miserably because you have to fart and it's making you grimace in a menacing way at the grocery store. And so like the people are like looking at you and like staring at you and stuff. You can go left now? Oh, okay. Bebop. Oh my god, I hate you. How you've been gay before? <laughs> Got him. You're very homosexual. I am also very gay. I'll be. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'll be. I'm pansexual. Oh no, it's looping again. I think? Your demi pan? Nice. Oh god, help me. We're stuck in an end endless loop at the school pool. At the public pool. I gotta I gotta go through the puddle each time. When your mom is late picking you up from the pool and so you just circle around the pool in your go-kart? Is this ever gonna end? Is this gonna end? I remember I used to go to the public pool a lot. I used to love swimming. Now I don't really go out much. I really need to exercise more. My back. My back does not like me. Sitting. For so long. How about not stepping on the puddle? But I like stepping on the puddle. Yeah, I need help getting out. Ring fit regiment time? You know, that was what I was thinking too. I was like, hmm, I should do some ring fit. Because it's. It can be really gross outside sometimes, especially in the summer. Cool, I don't remember. <laughs> There's an opening? A 
I wasn't paying attention. I forgot that the opening was below. I thought it was on the side. Have I just been passing by the opening without realizing it? No, I haven't. Where the fuck is it? What the fuck? You lapsed long ago on Ring Fit? Yeah, same. My brain went the... My brain went... went my, my. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we're in a new place now. The croaking. The croaking to give me life. Oh, there's a phone over there. How do I get to that phone? You know, just being a girl, doing girl things, going to the bathroom, in your go-kart. <laughs> oh! Feminine urge to fuck up a bathroom purely out of spite. You had to go to, on the, to the building on the right? I'm totally fine with being here. I can always go back. Feminine urge to summon an old demigod to do your shopping for you because you're too lazy and too powerful. <laughs> oh god, I was I wish that was me. Okay, so this is the the area you can get to from the Nexus, right? This is the snow area. I'm gonna su summon Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> oh, let's explore that a little bit more. <sighs> yeah, that's true. Well, I wouldn't call him demented. What is this? He's just not a good guy. A demigod of money, yeah. Three ant eaters in a suit. Wow. Coca Cola bear. I wish I could make that noise. So let's see, we have thirteen effects. We just need two more. Let me see, which ones are those? Whoa! Hey! No 
don't fart. Okay, so we need the... Karakasa and Natsuhuku effects. We can find them eventually. There's an event with the bear effect in Nidei's dream room? Bear moment? Thank you for telling me. I w but I would appreciate uh, you holding off on advice until I ask for it, please. Let's see. Now, is there anything else in here? I'm not sure. Also, I noticed that it's snowing here, but when we, oh, when we got here from the toilet, it wasn't snowing. It wasn't snowing when we got here from the toilet area, which is interesting. The snow is pee? Oh no. Taps the sign. If Ranji needs help, they'll ask for help. Yeah, I, I really wish I could put the no backseating tag, but I already put so many tags I can't I can't put it in there anymore. Unless I get rid of one of mine. Boa barfing? A graphic to go on the stream, but I have almost no room to put it. I my my overlay is so busy. <laughs> Taps the sign. Or like a, a chat um a chat command, because I think I've seen other streamers do a chat command. Oh I'm just rubbing my nose. I'm wiping my nose. What the heck is that? Taps the sign. Oh, no piss, except, uh, scratch that. All piss. Always piss. Professional nose rubber. <laughs> yes, I rub my nose so much. You see? You see this nose I got right here? This nose I got right here. I'm a professional. All right, I don't think there's anything else here. Uh, like I said previously, next next stream, starting next stream, I'll be using a guide for this. So instead of wondering, oh, I wonder if there's something here, I'll actually know because I'll be looking at a map. Captain Crunch. Oops, all piss. You want to piss for free in this economy? True. We gotta piss. Oh! I didn't notice that there was a bear in here. Wait, what? Will 3D French have a big sniffer? No, but we'll have another big thing guide moment yeah so like how my you may nikki fan game playthroughs usually go is like i spend the first one to three streams usually actually no two to three streams just wandering around not looking at any guides not really asking for any advice because i just want to experience wandering around the game and then after that i usually use a guide because i want to speed things up find all the effects and endings and stuff like that <laughs> Thank you for the fart. With all the inflation. Oh boy. By the way, speaking of uh, inflation, 
Do you guys see the new Kirby games? <laughs> we got a little mini game here. Wait, what? I thought I said start. Pan Matsuri or o Yameru. I guess we're doing like a quest or something. Bread festival, yeah. Are we collecting bread? I guess. It's bread time. That's interesting. My Japanese knowledge led up to this one moment of recognizing Pan Matsuri. Yes, I'm so proud of you, Bebop, that you could understand that after your years of studying Japanese. Matsuri, arigato, Franz Sama. Do itashimashite, Bebop san. To this again. Oh no. Nah. Don't touch my mustache. <laughs> Wait, what? Touch his mustache? No! I can't believe Senti's dead because they touched <laughs> Cabal's mustache. Doitashimashite. Oh, I didn't get that at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't touch my mus mu mustache. Okay, now to figure out how the fuck to get back to that one area. With the fountain, because apparently there's an effect there. Oh, it was an old trick for remembering. Well, there's a chaser. I met that one pretty quick. I think it was this way. Hell yeah. Big brain. So I had to go on to the other one. Because we got pushed into the toilet. Rude. By someone. It means you're welcome, yeah. Doitashimashite. Your entire ability to read hiragana is based on tricks like that. I used to use tricks too, but um, I guess something that helped me was being really into utau and vocaloid and just reading, reading karaoke lyrics and um, using like making covers with utau because a lot of utau voice banks are in hiragana. 
or in hiragana, so you have to like learn how to read it. Summer clothes, Natsuhuku. Open all the lockers. Toilet. Want to learn Japanese? I think it's fine. Learning more languages sounds pog. Yeah, go ahead. Sailor uniform. S clothes. We have pigtails. That's cute. Yeah, you're already bilingual. You already learn. I'm guessing English isn't your first language. So you already learn English. That's pretty pog. Okay, that gets us pushed into the toilet. I wonder if there's a way to, like, get to that phone. There's a locker. Doesn't seem like there's anything here that would lead us there. Spanish is your native one? Oh, okay. Just the internet? That's pretty cool. Okay, I think this is the end of the path. Yeah, we can't go back. Let's go back to the dream world. Oh, mm, yeah. Your English is pretty good, I think. You can communicate with people. You know, speaking of learning another language, I was, uh, I met up with my mom and my sister today to have some food. Because my sister is about to go on this trip. And... My mom, we went to this Chinese place. Apparently the Chinese... The owner of the Chinese place is also Vietnamese. Or at least the, the wife of the owner. I don't know who the owner is. But this lady here was also Vietnamese. And they were speaking Vietnamese with each other. And I was like... I can actually kind of understand what they're saying. I understand, like, oh, they're asking, like, oh, how old is your daughter? Where do you guys live? Stuff like that. And it felt really nice to actually understand what they were saying. As opposed to, like, my whole life where I would just block them out because I wouldn't understand what they were saying. And I missed out on all their conversations. It was nice being part of the conversation. If I want to study abroad, I need I need academic level English. Yeah. With like school systems and stuff like that, they want you to have taken a class or something. Have some kind of certificate or something to show to, to quote unquote prove your level. I'm not guessing. Yeah, I was guessing a little bit because unlike my teacher, they were speaking at like regular conversational levels, so and like they also have accents too. I, I've been learning the southern accent of Vietnamese. Um and like a lot of Vietnamese people shorten the words. Kinda like how like when you're learning proper English and like regular people don't always speak like the textbooks, so it was hard to like try and figure out what exactly they were saying, but it was good. Yeah, thank you, Bebop. And thank you, Cabal. Yes, doodle smart moment. 
I wish you luck if you do take your, the, your test, Senti. But yeah, it was just nice uh, being able to to understand them. I think we went this way before. <laughs> I'm very smart. I have big brain. Oh no, we're here again. We've already been here. Big brain, big bungus. Big cakeus. <laughs> Yes, Ski. That's what exactly what I was going to do. <laughs> Cake Bungus Frogus? Scientific name? Yeah, I'm going to go into that door, but let's see what's a little bit down here. Nothing. Okay. I think we already went to this area. Did we? No, I don't remember going in this door. Hmm. I think. Have we already been here? I'm not sure. Yes, we have. We have already been here. We haven't been this way before, though. Frog yawn? Yes, I yawn. I'm a yawner. Oh, there are all these plants. Bongus, bongus, among us. Doodle, go to the left in real life. Okay. It's good. Am I left enough? Twitch controlled French. <laughs> you you tell me which direction to go and I go there in real life. Like early bamboo shoots, they do. Crystus Rana, smart fat cake frog. I remember Ra Rana. Yeah, Rana's frog. Oh, this is where. Oh. Where we were before. Oh, so we just opened up the the one way. Twitch plays frog. Piss? No, don't piss. Okay, we already went this way. We've already been this way, so there's literally no reason for us to ramp. Literally no reason for us to be here. Piss. Loud. You know, I actually do need to piss right now. But I'm, I'm thinking of ending stream in a bit. Because it's getting around two hours. So I don't want to do a piss break just to end stream. Piss, piss the the commands are working. I forgot that there is an area over here. Yeah, you guys are gonna make me piss. I just won't do it on stream. Okay, Ski. 
I'll ask for advice when I want it. I would appreciate it if you would stop giving unprompted advice, please. If not, I'll have to like mute you or something if you're not actually gonna do that. Yeah, thank you. Piss breaks straight into play. A 60s ad into the end of stream? A 60 second ad. Oh yeah. Doggy. True. Oh yeah, speaking of, of ads, I was thinking of like... So you know how... I don't know if there's been a whole debate, but I saw people talking about like pre-roll ads versus mid-roll ads. So like pre-roll ads are like you get an ad when you first get on stream. And then after that, you get no more ads. As opposed to mid roll ads, where when you first get on stream, you don't get an ad. Um, but then you'll get an ad, like randomly, not randomly, like every 30 minutes or so, like a 30 second ad. And then there's also where the streamer plays like ads during a break, and then that will disable pre roll ads. And, like, they get to choose the time that the ad starts, as opposed to it just happening every 30 minutes and it might interrupt, like, whatever I'm saying or something. I was wondering, what do you guys prefer? I was thinking, uh, I don't want to necessarily do mid-roll ads because, uh, like, the majority of you guys aren't subscribed, so it'll, it'll affect a lot of you guys if, say, every 30 minutes we play a 30 second ad and then like y'all miss whatever I'm talking about. Why can I not go in here? But also like pre-roll ads are really annoying. But I was also thinking like if I played ads whenever I took a pee break or something that would just disable pre-roll ads for a bit. Yeah, if I run a minute of ads, play all ads so we can give you three cents. Yes, it's totally worth it for me and for you. We all love ads. Yeah, so I was thinking of like doing like a, say when I go on a pee break or something, or uh, I play ads and then it'll nix ads for like an hour or so. Wait, that, wait, what? That just, yeah, there's a cone beanie, but you can't go in. To fund the Frange army. The cloning facilities don't pay for themselves. That is true. That is true. We need money for the cloning facilities. Uh oh, this loops. I need to run ads during bathroom breaks just to nix pre rolls. I keep forgetting. Yeah, I keep forgetting too because I'm like, I need a pee! Okay, it didn't it didn't loop when I went this way. So I'm like, I need a pee, and then I just run off and I don't play ads, because you have to like play ads from the Twitch dashboard or something. And I don't having the tw I don't like having the Twitch dashboard up. Because it's so clunky and it takes up more bandwidth. Stop going so long without bathroom breaks. It's just because you have you have um, bladders of uh, you have a bladder of steel. I have a bladder of like a balloon, and it it pops if it gets too big. Actually, I don't like the sound of that. We already went through there. This is nice. I like the sky. He took the last of my money. At least I had money. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a sweet potato. Oh, 
Oh, that was nice. We had a good sweet potato. You have a bladder of a damn camel? I go fucking hours without taking a bathroom break? Isn't that normal? Don't you like- isn't it normal to go hours without a bathroom break? In Korea and Japan we sell baked sweet potato in the winter. Oh, that's nice to know. Sweet baked potato sounds tasty. What does that sound? What? Huh! <gasps> The fuck? I thought that was normal? Yeah. Not if you're drinking more than normal. But holding it isn't great for you. Yeah. Apparently, I don't know if this is a myth, but like, doesn't holding in your pee a lot make it more likely that you're going to develop bladder stones? Or kidney stones? You think this leads to an event? Like this area or this NPC? Hey, Cries, how's it going? Okay. Yeah, I guess this NPC. Oh, he's looking at me. My fucking god. There's an event here? Okay. I am okay with that advice, because I did want to see if there's something I could do with this NPC. No spoilers. Yeah, let's see, what can I... I don't have all the effects. Feel really down significantly less energetic recently? Oh, I hope you feel better soon, cries. Wait, let me... Here, here's a little head pat. Oh yeah, I, I changed the head pat redeem recently. Um, yeah. I hope you feel better soon. But yeah, I changed the head pat redeem recently so you can include an at or not include an at. Same brain, Raji. <laughs> yeah, it's it's such a, a nifty redeem. Head pats really do work. But um, so you can either include or exclude it, and it'll still work. Cause I noticed that like some people were still including the at. I mean, like that's totally normal. I would include the at too. But uh, I just had to do an, a little bit extra work on the coding end. It would have been nice if we could, like, face him. Okay, he still looks at me even when I'm in- even when I'm, uh, invisible. He knows all. Yeah, I'm not sure if I have the event, the effect for this event. The last effect I need is Karakasa. But this uh, lets you teleport to the Nexus. We can probably take a look at this event next time when I'm looking at a guide. 
We'll come back here next time. It was pretty easy to get back here. Thank you for the wellness pack, Stretch. Drink water. Thank you, Cries. All right, let's wake up. I'm probably going to end stream here. I just kind of feel like chilling and doing my own thing. But we will be back for stream tomorrow. Actually, I want to listen to the save music here. Does it still play music when I... Yes, it does when I focus out. Thank you for coming! Thank you for coming to the stream, guys. Let's see. We collected quite a bit of effects today. We just have one more left. We can get that effect next time. And then, thankfully, the wiki has a list of all... I'm not, I'm not sure all the events, but a pretty good number of events. We could also try doing the bread... Oh, okay. Yeah, the bread game apparently gives you a new menu theme. <laughs> Another good blob front stream, yes! Today was really chill. Let's see, let's see who I can raid. We'll be streaming again tomorrow at 2pm. We'll be playing a visual novel called Love at First Sight, which is where you date a Cyclops girl. And it's pretty short. I looked up how long it is. It's like two hours, but it'll probably take longer since we'll be chatting and stuff. Let's see. Hmm. There isn't anyone who I, like, super want to raid at the moment. The VN is so cute. I'm glad it's cute. Thank you for letting me know that's cute. Because I am in the mute mood for a cute VN. Let's see... Do y'all... Wait, Diz is about to begin streaming? When? I would totally be down to, to raid Diz. Because, like, there are some people I'd be, I'm like, I, I'm okay with raiding them. But I'm not, like, super excited. Because I'm kind of, like, low energy right now. So, we can actually talk a bit before Diz starts streaming. Uh, and then we can raid Diz, because I'm totally down with raiding Diz. You guys want to watch that skit that Ski sent over? I do want to raid them. We can we can watch that skit. It's about two minutes long. Prototype, no spoiler alert. In Discord. Yo, what? You actually made it be up? It is imminent though? Okay. I see how to make a prison burrito. <laughs> That's great! This is shit post, but if you want a good one, I'll make it for you. It's- I don't- I don't think I actually need a thing, at least at the moment, unless it becomes an issue. But I do enjoy that st that shit post. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Window capture. Hmm. 
here. And we can close this. Let's watch the skit, Taco Town, SNL. That ski sent over, because I had it open. I was gonna watch it anyway. Let's see, turn up the volume a bit. That looks so fucking disgusting. I could feel myself getting a clogged artery just by watching that. Let's see, what else can we watch? Um, we could watch Cute, Cute Frog. Cute Frog. Look at this. Oh, wait. This is the uh, this is this is this is a uh, a classic. But sometimes more unexpected sounds grab our attention. Like this desert rain frog. Squeaking viral sensation. Eleven million hits and counting. It sounds like a dog toy. But it's actually, so fucking cute. this is a sonorous war cry. It's a war cry. Of a very angry frog. It wants to kill. <laughs> Get out of my face, Ferocious. annotation. Ferocious. This is actually my raid sound. Um, oh, shit. I don't want to look at this. That's my raid sound. It's the squeaking and then him saying ferocious. You should make this a redeem? Well, this is this is my raid sound. So y'all will hear it whenever I get a raid. Lives in the desert, but is a rain frog. What an idiot. <laughs> it's the common rain frog ski. Also, do you guys want to see any octopus? I've been like really into watching these Nautilus vi videos. Well, what does that, uh, what does that mean to so our viewers? Actually, you guys haven't been seeing uh, the whole thing. Uh, you guys have only been seeing a third of the video. Of, can I can uh, I just step in for yes. just one moment? That's great. Uh, this is almost like Frog a frog moment. Picture. We have a jellyfish, Dumbo, flatfish, um, flat and a shark, wow. all like in Look at that. at the same time. Sorry, back oh, to you. Oh, and, and another guy came in just to. Oh yeah, he's oh, jealous. Yeah, I love how they're subbed. The flatfish that came in. He's too. trying to sneak in. It's a Dumbo. Yeah. One, one more zoom on the Dumbo before we do Oh off. yes. <laughs> Might as well, right? <laughs> Might as well. We're, We're here. here. Yeah. Oh, hello oh, there, little fella. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, you can All right, extend it's so out. Cute. Oh, 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 yo. Oh, oh. Hey, oh. Hey, you can see his little fuckers. Oh, I'm already extended. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you know, active. Yeah, when you're on the so Discord with the mean biologist, marine biologist homies. Oh. And their relative squid. Nautilus, Nautilus fall into their um. Classification. I did mean, not us as the ship, but cephalopods. Did you know that cephalopods. the um, yeah. es the so brain is wrapped around the esophagus? What? Oh, that's wicked that's rat. So weird. So they can think. That's a wicked, a wicked rat. Or, <laughs> the other way around. The that's wi wicked rad. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. The brain is in their esophagus. Oh yeah, the brain. Oh, the brain is wrapped, wrapped around the esophagus. The Oh, oh my god, that feeling when you swallow something really big and you explode your brain. Bright light, bright light. This is away. what scientists do Sorry. when we're really excited. They ink? Totally normal. No, we don't ink. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's take off and let this guy go back to his dark world. Okay, little fella. Fly, be free. Oh, this guy's so so used to being at like oh yeah. Well, uh, we'll okay. definitely put that a really part deep of part of the, of the ocean where so there's no light. I bet like that like having like, their like, ship down there or whatever awesome device that shines the light on them. You they must have never seen <laughs> light in their mine, entire fucking mine. life. Anyway, back like this much light. Back. <laughs> hey. Oh, I forgot. I even asked that question. Hey. It gives us a, a sensation. Or like, imagine being a being that never sees light, and then all of a sudden you're just hit with a shit ton of light. Me in the morning. Taco ate too many tacos and expanded its mind. It ate the 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 taco the the, the, the whatever the fuck the place was called. Oh, well, let me see. Um, there is this one. Which one's cute, too? There's a spider video. I am not looking at the spider video. What's on here? 
Wait, they have live streams currently up. They have four streams up. Quad stream. Look, they're just kind of exploring. Right now, they're just uh, looking at the ship right now. So they haven't really actually gone down yet. What is... What is this guy? Oh. I used to really be into, like, space and the ocean. Did this just went live? Alright, let's go see them. Let's go see them. I'll probably watch more of these videos. But, uh, thank you guys for watching them with me. <laughs> also, thank you for the taco video, Ski. That was pretty funny. I haven't watched SNL in a while, but I was like, I wasn't sure how funny SNL was. Sometimes, you know, comedy can just be like, really hit or miss. I mean, that's how it is, because it's, it's subjective. Let's go. Let's raid Diz. Diz Slime. Thank y'all for joining me tonight. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And if you have my emotes, feel free to use this raid message. If you don't, Feel free to use this one. Yeah, it's very subjective. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys. Let me just copy this for myself. I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye! Bye-bye, guys! Have a good night! Bye-bye!